Hey everyone, welcome back. We just learned that Public Security is going after Kuwana for the murder of Sawa Sensei. They are the ones that are behind that and they also want to make him disappear in an accident. And Yagami does not want to let that happen. I have my issues with things that Kuwana has done and things that he believes, but I don't want that to happen either. And I'm curious what you guys were feeling about Kuwana around this point of the game. So please do feel free to let me know about that in the comments and also enjoy today's episode. Would they be RK? They're practically showing off how much they're watching me. Is this public security's plan to put pressure on me? Yagami-san, was everything okay back there? That man, Bondo, I knew something was off about him. Is he one of the men behind RK? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. He was trying to find out where Kawana was. I see. That reminds me. Hoshino-kun seems to have heard some rumors about RK. Okay. Um, let's talk to Hoshino. Hoshino-kun, did you pick up what the word is on RK? Yeah. One of the bosses, Akutsu, came back to Kamurocho yesterday. He's back? He's number two in the group, isn't he? Yeah, so he would probably know about Soma. Know where he is? Well, I'm not sure if you're aware, Yagami-san, but RK owns some of the cabaret clubs in Kamurocho, and Akutsu manages them. If a girl makes a lot of sales, or if she becomes a rising star in the club, Akutsu apparently gives that girl a bonus, personally. How do you know this stuff, Hoshino-kun? <laughs> Our clients come from all walks of life in Kamurocho, cabaret girls included. So to sum it all up, a popular girl has a chance to meet Akutsu? Yeah, but this week nobody was getting that chance, until yesterday. Which is how I figured out Akutsu is back in Kamurocho. He must have been in Yokohama. Oh, well... That makes sense. But where exactly in Kamurocho is he? That's the part I don't know. RK bosses never sleep in the same place twice. Gotta keep the cops off their trail. But despite the risk, Akutsu still reaches out to popular girls. <laughs> hey, I'm not even mad. In fact, I'm up for the challenge. No way. Awesome, Sarisan. If you can rock the cabaret gig again, you can hook Akutsu. No way! It'd be an undercover mission to infiltrate RK. Super risky. But damn, if I don't want to see Saori san transform one more time, I can't help it. My man! What the hell's gotten into you? <laughs> Are there any bars Hoshino we know for sure that RK owns? All of us. There is. You remember Queen Rouge, the place Saori san snuck into a long time ago? RK recently took over the management there. Queen Rouge. What about the owner? Still the same guy? Yep, he's still there. One of the original employees. Only thing is, it used to be a classy spot, but they've cut a lot of corners. The vibe has probably changed a lot. Really? Well, maybe that means I can afford to go. Hey, totally. I want to go too. This is no time to be idiots. Okay, well... Sorry, son, you'll need the whole makeover again. Woo! I can take point on that. No need, I'll be fine. Huh? Just the other day, Mari-san and I figured out what kind of makeup goes over well with RK. I'll just go with that. With Mari- You're not gonna let me do well, it again? counterpoint, I think a man might know better what men like. With all due respect, don't judge what you haven't seen. Oh, uh, really? Uh-oh. Am I about to step on a landmine? Should I just leave it up to them? Oh, I can redo it. If you leave it up to Sarisan, she'll wear the same outfit as last time. Let's redo it. I still think I should pick your makeup. Seriously, Marisan and I put in a lot of effort. 
Are you really going to make me start over from yes, scratch? Yes, girl. Hagami-san, quit it. You're making sorry son angry. She'll Are survive. This isn't a kid's game. It doesn't matter who does it, as long as it gets results. Damn straight, Genda. Our makeup has produced results already. What should I do? I really shouldn't fight sorry son at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to redo your makeup. We're dealing with RK. They're backed by public security. We can't mess around here. Seriously? Damn, Yagami-san. I can't believe you're fighting Saori-san on this. You're insane. You have a good point, Yagami. <laughs> and evidently no fear. Very well. I can see you mean business, so I'll concede this time. <laughs> Thanks. Then let's get to Should it. we make her blonde? I'm trusting you to get it right, Yagami. -san. I've never seen her blonde. Let's go. Let's do something like totally different this time. Go with that. I think she's looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good right here. I think we've. I think we've got it. We've. We've. We've done it. Sounds like something Lady Gaga would do. Hi, ghetto. All right, let's let's get this show on the road. There's still a little more time until the makeup is done. I should get ready to deal with any issues. <sighs> well, I guess. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty stocked up actually on items, so I think I'm good. Yep, I think we're pretty good. Am I totally ready? We're ready! Are we ready or we're ready? In. Thanks, Yakumi-san. I'm glad to hear it. What's important is that you look great. Fine. Well then, shall we head over to Queen Bruges? Oh, while you were doing your makeup, I talked to the owner about you coming in. Like Koshino-kun said, there's apparently a system in place where a girl with great sales potential gets the attention of Akutsu. I understand. Basically, I just have to aim to be number one at the bar, right? How confident are you? I mean, look at her. I can't make any guarantees, but I'll give it my all. And I'm with you all the way, a lady. I should head out to Queen Rouge. I can do this. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, your voice changed. You sound like Yagami. <laughs> I should head out to Queen Rouge. I can do this. I've gone undercover there before. Look at us! Woo! Oh man. Um, I just feel like it's really hard to mess up. I mean, I'm sure you could, but I mean, Saudi has such a beautiful face that it's really hard to mess it up. You can't really go wrong. You can't really go wrong. pull off a blonde like that I want to get a blonde wig I feel like it would be useful to have I'm going for different like cosplay looks or whatever
I pass by this place sometimes, but it's been a while since I've been inside. The owner remembered you from last time. Said he wished you were there every night instead of just one. The undercover cabaret girl of his dreams returns. Oh, take this before you go. It's a wireless earpiece. If you end up going somewhere with Akatsu, we can use it to communicate. I'll be there in a flash if things go even remotely south. Got it. I know you have my back, Yagami-san. <laughs> you bet. Good luck, then. at you takes me back to better days. You are a cut above. A sight for sore eyes. Nice to see you again. Have you been well? I'm fine. I'm fine! Well, that's a lie. <laughs> He's Last like time you were here, we were a good place. But times have only gotten tougher. Now, we're just a fast and cheap dive bar. With mediocre service. Yes, I heard a bit about that. Keep this on the down low, but uh, the former owner lost a bet in Mahjong. So we sold the bar. We're under RK's management now. And ever since they took over, we're just like every other CD place. We don't even make a profit unless we're shuffling people in and out. Which, of course, impacts the girls' performance. But I hear the girls with promise catch the eye of the RK members. Ha <laughs> ha! So you already know about that. Yes, RK treats people well who treat their bottom line well. If they notice a special girl, they'll give her a bonus to show their generosity. Or maybe Akutsu-san just wants to drink with cute girls. I realize it's kind of interesting that he remembers us at all, because, or like he recognizes us because last time she had black hair black lipstick like she i put her in like this gothed up look and now she's like blonde and pink my true goal is to find out the location of rk's sub underboss akutsu becoming the number one girl in the bar is just incidental this isn't about having a good time I mean, be dressed up, but I'm still working a job here. Where do girls usually meet up with Akutsu-san? No particular location. Just depends on his mood, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! But you have your eye on that bonus, I see. Well, if anyone could get it, it's you, Saori-san. I'm rooting for you. Can you hear me, Saori-san? Yes. So you got in okay. Just so you know, I think I'm gonna call for support. Support? Yeah, so in case you meet Akatsu, we'll be ready to pounce on him. But you'll be on your own until then. Starting now, I'm number one at this bar, and the first rule in customer service is to heap praise on the guest. You can do this, Saudi. Even if it were my own father sitting there, I must praise him until he becomes putty in my hands. Her own Wait, what does she have against her father? So... Are you the new girl the manager brought in? You're... <laughs> kinda older than I thought you'd be. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Hmm. What club were you at before this? Oh, I'm usually an office worker. But I worked here once about two years ago. What, so you just come back whenever you feel like it? Like some part-time gig? Really? You treat this job like it's a cakewalk and expect us not to be offended. What oh. the hell? Oh. Point taken. So, I guess tonight I should sit back and watch the professionals show me how it's done? What? Are you dissing us? What? You can haze new girls, but if they give it back, you lose your cool? Excuse me? Now, now. You can't scowl like that when customers are here to have a good time. Oh, you little... <laughs> wow. I thought you were just another snob. But you've got barbed wire where it counts. Magu! You're gonna let a new chick talk to us this way? Old or new doesn't matter. If you've got the goods, I have no complaints. 
I'm going to do my best, and I'll try not to weigh you two down. Tauri-san, Megu-san, Kuriko-san, we have customers! Let's get to work! Well, time for the new girl to show us what people see in her. <laughs> yes, I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, the clash of female egos. I think I might actually enjoy this. What? <laughs> She's gonna enjoy this. I would not enjoy it. I'd be like, oh my god, get me out of here. But apparently Saudi is all about this. Hello! I'm Megu! <laughs> Welcome! I'm Kuniko. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> sorry, John. Uh, come, come, sit here. Wow, how, how beautiful. You know? Oh, the best of the bunch. Man, I am loving this place. Uh, um, so, how are Was you? Was it a good idea to bring Hoshino here? Is, <laughs> look at him. He's so excited. <laughs> He's like, mommy. <laughs> How is this happening? Is this what Yagami saw meant by support? This won't help me in the least. In fact, it's doing the opposite. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> but, you know, I could make any prosecutor shake in his boots just by yelling, OBJECTION! <laughs> That's awesome, you killer lawyer, you. Jeez, why is Genda Sensei getting all the attention? For your information, I passed the national bar exam with top marks. Uh huh. Oh, what's a bar exam? Oh, you've got to be kidding. You ladies have really never heard of the bar exam. Oh my god. It's the toughest certification test in Japan. <laughs> I've heard of it. Oh, so it's a certificate? Well, I passed kanji level 3 when I was in middle school. That's not even comparable. Kanji aptitude is a very fine certification. Huh? You passed your stupid bar exam how many years ago now? And you're still bragging about your scores? Seriously? What? Um, I... Uh... Uh, sorry, John. You can't talk that way to a customer. I shouldn't have said that, but Hoshino-kun was being such an ass, I couldn't resist. No, she's right. It's a dumb thing to brag about, isn't it? But the bar is really hard. Not everyone passes it. There's so much studying to do day and night. He's so oh my drunk. God, he's crying. <laughs> I have to do something to cheer him up. Ugh, even though I don't want to. Compliment him, I must. Stroke his stupid ego. <laughs> Praise his stupid achievement. Sneak in some bragging. Let's stroke his stupid ego. I can't believe you became such a high-powered lawyer. Almost nobody has the brains to do that. Yeah? You think so? That really means something coming from you, sorry son. Yeah, from me specifically? Why is that? <laughs> the pain. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you want some champagne? I think what? he's had enough. One bottle of champagne, please, for this fine young man here. No, 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 wait, wait. <gasps> There's our Mr. Big Time Lawyer. So generous. Thank you. Uh, is it okay if I have some too? <laughs> What a blessing to have such a great protege. I... Um... Sure. So, which champagne do you want? The best in the house, of course. What? What? Really? Wow! <laughs> Wait. Is one bottle really enough for the five of us? <laughs> Get the sensei, please! You are right. Let's make that two bottles of the premium stuff. There you go. Now we're talking, Hoshino-kun. Oh my god. Fine. 
It's fine. Oh, you know, enjoy the moment. Right. Enjoy the view. Now it's a party, ladies. Really? Come on Thank now. Thank you. I do feel a little sorry for Hoshinokun, but I hope he learned his lesson. <laughs> I got through that unscathed, but I wish they would just go home already. <laughs> Listen up, girls. This is a heck of a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I tell you, I love cabaret clubs so much. <laughs> Me too, Genda Sensei. Especially this one. The customer service is on point. I wish I could come here every night and stay till morning. Oh, you two know just how to flatter us. So true. Hey, in case you come back, would you like to reserve a bottle in your name? You guys are lawyers, so I'm sure you can afford it. <laughs> well, we're not a big firm. But you know what? <laughs> Let's do it! Nice one, boss! You're the best! Should I let them do this? If they keep drinking, drinking like fish, Kendall Law is going to go bankrupt. But I have to be seen as someone who brings in lots of sales, or else I won't get to meet Akutsu. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Sari-san? You're looking kind of gloomy there. <laughs> Come on, how about a smile? Ah, Saurikun. I was thinking, if you could be just a bit friendlier, you'd be the belle of the ball. <laughs> um, do you guys already know Saori-san? You act like you're good friends. Hmm, they do seem pretty close, right? <sighs> this isn't good. If they find out we know each other, that would be supremely awkward for me. Not to mention, it would completely ruin my plan to get a meeting with RK. Huh? I don't know. But would it be so wrong if we did know each other? Of course not, but this does happen to be our first meeting. <laughs> Silly sensei. The first time? Is it really, though? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're both teasing me so much. <laughs> Poor Megu-san and Kuniko-san are giving me dirty looks. Well, I mean, that's because something does seem fishy. This is bad. I guess I need to change gears here. Stroke Genda Sensei's chin, cuddle up to Genda Sensei, whisper into Hoshino Kun's ear, sit in Hoshino Kun's lap. We gotta go in the lap. They're suspicious of us, Hoshino Sensei. Ah, uh, um, what? Uh, sorry, son. But I just can't seem to control myself. <laughs> Uh, Yo, please um, tell me they're gonna go home and fuck oh, later. Am I being too naughty? Oshino kun. This this is inappropriate. Stop this. Now, both of you. Oh, uh, excuse me? Uh, can we get that girl at this table too? Yes, sir. You mean Saori san. Oh, yeah, oh, get her out of there. Me too! Get her out Wait of there. Wait a minute, what about us? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> please, please, everyone. She's only one person. Now you gotta sit in everyone's lap. I guess the new girl's a hit. Oh, she sure showed us up. This is crazy. Oh, I guess that went well. Now I just wait for Akutsu to summon me. Mission complete. <laughs> we can see defeat, sorry, son. I'm so sorry we were rude before. Oh, please. I just got lucky tonight. Yeah, right. I don't think I could have done better than you in any department. You're a natural at conversation, and so sexy, too. I learned a lot, actually. And whew, I drank a lot more than usual. Thanks for the hard work, you three. I bet you barely got any breaks. It was one customer after another. What a night! We haven't had this good a take in a while! It's all thanks to Saori-san. No, I couldn't have done it without Megu-san and Kuniko-san at my side. Come on, it was pretty obvious who the MVP was this evening. Boss, seeing as you're here, does that mean Saori-san's getting a bonus? 
that she is. Who would have thought this could happen on her first day? All I can say is, wow. My Akutsu girl. Akutsu-san wants to meet you. Show his appreciation by giving you the bonus himself. There's already a taxi waiting outside. Really? That is so awesome. No kidding. So the bonus thing is real, huh? I hope I get one someday. Total success. Now found. Now I'll find out where Akutsu is hiding. So, where exactly is Akutsu-san waiting for me? Apparently, it's a surprise. He doesn't just let that information out. But I'm sure it's somewhere in Kamurocho. And don't worry. I'm told there'll be another cab to take you home. I see. Well then, I'm looking forward to it. I gotta say, I'm a fan of her in the blonde now. It took me a while to... Don't worry, sorry. Not too long, though. By. If you need me, I'll be there in a flash. Driver, could you tell me where we're headed? Oh, <laughs> we're almost there, miss. We're not leaving Kamrocho, are we? No, no. No need to worry. I think he's driving to the Thug Hangout, the underground club. That's where I met Soma for the first time. I thought it had been shut down, but maybe they opened it back up. We'll be arriving soon. sorry son I presume? We've been expecting you. You are very beautiful. Akutsu-san will be happy. Are they gonna try to make Thank her do something? Thank you for inviting something? me. Something? Something, something? Little RK something, something? takes care of people who keep the cash flowing. The fact you're here means you have a talent for it. You're one of us now, sorry son So this is how RK keeps recruiting new members and allies. They keep the hostesses who make money by giving them a fat bonus and some pretty boys. If you would follow me. Certainly. I can't believe we got to dress her up not only again in this game, Here she but is, like twice. Tonight's heroine, Sari San from Queen Rouge. Ah, <laughs> and I see why. You're hotter than your reputation. Come here. Let me give you some motivation. Keep at it. I've heard so much about you, Akutsu-san. It's a pleasure to meet someone so famous. Have a seat. I'm not gonna ask you to pour after a hard night's work. This sake is not cheap. That's cool though, right? <laughs> Gotta show my appreciation, don't I? Oh, there's no need for that. Well, on to the moment of truth. Your bonus. One million yen. Quite Ooh. a stack of cash for an office worker. Yeah. It's a big pile of money for anyone. Oh, even for Ooh. lawyers, Shirosaki sensei I had a feeling he was going to know who she is. I'm not sure I follow. This lady lawyer came poking around before. Except she was trying to find out about Kawhi at the time. You see, when it comes to I'm Kamurocho, not the same girl. I'm blonde now. We have eyes everywhere. Anybody suspicious gets reported to us fast. Most of the eyes working for me or Soma are spies in the police force. And now, we've got a law lady in the bag. <gasps> so, what do you want with me? Who sent you here, huh? Well, this took a turn for the worse, didn't it? You're only just noticing that. Kind of slow for a lawyer, aren't you? Oh, I didn't mean for me. It just got worse. For you. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Man. Oh, you were and Hoshino's to find here too? Thought, wow. So it was you pulling sorry John strings. Hell of a sight. Some piece of shit ex Tojo man thinks he's king of the hill now? Don't make me laugh. You're the work of this pile of shit, Yukashi. Props for having the spine to show up here without backup. 
And after you barely escaped with your life, Yagami. Hold that thought. This isn't the whole party. Huh? The only guy I really want to fuck up is so much. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> He's I'll back! Settle for you, losers, tonight. This is the best chapter of the game. This is the best chapter. The best chapter. Kaito. Couldn't just stay dead, huh? Nice work, Sari san. We'll take it from here, but did you ring the gong for us? What? Nothing kicks off a fight better than a beauty ring and a gong. Yeah. Give us something to get the mood going. But I don't have okay. a gong. Well then. Gentlemen, do your worst. Get ready. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, I am just like a kid at a candy store right now. This is so great. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me use some of my toughness Z's so I can pick these up. We got our speed boost. Oh god, this guy. I didn't see him there.
good. You can't run anymore, Akatsu. Can we talk now? Where's Soma? Where's he hiding? I don't know. He moves around more than I do. Really? Are you really just another one of his pawns? Just gonna cover for him and obey his every word? Soma can tell when someone's lying. He's always been able to. I won't be able to get away with bullshitting him. Friend or foe, if he finds a traitor, he stomps the rat dead. He can sniff out the faintest scent of betrayal. That's why I've always told him the truth. No point trying to BS him. In this business, nothing beats the ability to detect liars. You serious right now? You're buying into some bullshit rumors, dumbass. You just don't fucking get it, man. He can practically see the future. He was the first to bail from the Tojo clan. And usually, you need a shit ton of money to leave a clan if you don't want to be killed. That's what it's like to be a Yakuza. Huh. Remember who you're talking to. Yeah, I to, think Kaito asshole. would know. But Soma. He got you too. He somehow knew there was no future for the Tojo, so he jumped ship. No money, and not even a word to the bosses. Just up and left. There's no way he could get away with that. That's what I thought. I said the same thing to him when he was leaving. I warned him. They'll fucking erase you. The bastard just laughed. He said the clan was finished. No way could they kill him. Then he had the boss to give me advice. Said I should get out too and not worry about it. What did he mean by that? By that point, the Tojo clan didn't have the resources to properly deal with the vectors. Soma understood that. Sure enough, he left without a word, and nobody ever tried to fuck with him. It's true. Soma was the first guy to slip out. No doubt the dude knew what was up. While the Tojo clan was limping to its grave, Soma went underground and built the arcade network all by himself. And that's how you became his errand boy. What do you expect? I can't control Soma. I'm just the public face of RK. He holds the reins. I've been cool with that ever since I joined. <laughs> At least you're enough of a man to admit what you are. Akatsu, Soma's being used by public security. Did you know that? Public security? Why was Soma looking for Shinya Kawai and Kamurocho? I don't know. All I heard was somebody hired him to do that. Why is he after Kawana? I... Uh... How are Soma and public security linked? Give me something. Doesn't it at least ring a bell? I don't know, man. The fuck you mean ring a bell? I don't know shit. Wait. Nah. But maybe. What is it? Doc, is it possible that Soma himself is public security? Soma working in public security? What do you mean? Well, public security trains people to become spies. So they can infiltrate and collect intel. Right wing, left wing, anti establishment citizens groups, you get the picture. They usually try to find a weak spot in the org, someone they can turn to their side. True, public security is an intelligence agency that uses spies all the time, but how is Soma part of that? So, yeah, that's one way to do it. But sometimes a cop who's already in public security goes undercover to infiltrate something like a Yakuza organization. What you get is a Yakuza who knows everything about the police and would be super good at sniffing out liars. You're saying Soma is actually an undercover agent? You heard what this fool said. Soma figured out the Tojo clan didn't have a future, so he ditched them. You think some street punks got that kind of foresight? He couldn't, unless he had intel from the law. That'd be a different beast. That's He'd true, have to know the Tojo Kaito? clan and Kamurocho like the back of his hand. Including knowing that the Tojo clan would dissolve soon. Yep. And then after he gets out, what does he do next? He makes a place for all the Yakuza coming out of the Tojo clan to find each other. 
Right. Where public security can easily monitor them. That's why RK is still coming to ex Tojo Clan Yakuza like me. In other words, RK was founded by public security to manage all the displaced Yakuza? Sure as hell sounds like their MO. No matter how many crime rings they bring down, another always pops up in its place. This way, public security doesn't have to start from scratch. They can just keep tabs on all the free agents. Genius. But it's mind-blowing that they'd install their own leader. Sure as hell sounds like collusion to me. Soma? An undercover public security agent? Shit. We gotta move! Cut the fucking chit-chat! Why? Whoa. He's gonna be fucking listening in on us right now! If he's public security and heard all that... Shit! Get your shit together, Akatsu. What does it matter? Don't you get it? There's no way he'd want anyone else to fucking know! Oh! Stop shooting! He's dead. Oh. Oh, I. I feel kind of bad for that guy. Holy shit! They found us. Well, shit. You don't feel bad? He was manipulated, and then when he found out that he was being manipulated, he, he had to die for it. It's kind of fucked up. We're going to go into chapter 12 right now to nourish a viper. To return justice to the courtroom, Yagami makes a series of bold moves. However, Bondo, the man behind public security, makes a power play of his own, and the murderous Soma is still at large. Soma is believed to be a plant from public security, but that knowledge comes at a fatal price. That whole chapter was crazy! To nourish a viper. Chapter 12. So, the two shooters were dressed as policemen? Yes, they're the ones who shot Akutsu. They couldn't have been real officers though, right? Yeah. I'm guessing Soma gave uniforms to two of his own guys. Regardless of their affiliation, they were there on Soma's orders. Kaito-san's theory is that he's actually a public security agent. Get this talk. In America, they call people who go undercover, moles. <laughs> moles, huh? If this really was public security, I can't believe they'd go so far as murder. Oh. Soma probably thinks he's backed into a corner. Word got out he's been a plant since his Tojo days. Not even being the head honcho will save him. He'd be nothing but a rat. And RK's got plenty of ex-Tojo in it who'd want his head for that. I hadn't considered that. Those fake cops tried to take us out, too. They'll silence anyone who gets in the way. Hey, you think your office could post some officers at Gendas? At least for tonight. Sure, I can get that arranged. Shouldn't you guys have protection, too, though? I appreciate the concern. But Kaito-san and Higashi are ex-Yakuza. Not exactly a good mix, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> you said it. Thanks, but no thanks. Soma's probably gonna head even deeper underground after all this. But if we can track him down, we'll get the dirt on public security we need. Then we can do right by Sawa-sensei, and even bring Kawana and Reiko Kusamoto to justice. Alright, we get it. 
Let's walk Sauri son back to her office first, though. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Good idea. Don't worry, Sauri son. You should be safe from here on. Ah, uh, what gives, Sauri? You change up your look and the guys line up to protect you? Yeah, you should try going blonde too. Maybe you should put some effort into it once in a while yourself. <laughs> Are you telling me this isn't effort? What? She always looks good too. Let's walk Saudi son back to Genda Law Office. We can continue the conversation there. Oh, Yagami kun. You had it out with Prosecutor Takano the other day, right? Truth be told, he's in a precarious position right now. He only set out to do his job, but people are starting to think he was played for an alibi. It's not the best look for our office. Public opinion of us isn't as high as it once was. With Anaki on your side, you don't need me out there. Besides, I should show up to work sometimes. Yeah, and clean that damn place while you're at it. Friendos, let's go. Look at her go. Look at her, she's so adorable. <laughs> she's so cute. Be a cute, hey. rough night you all right when i heard akatsu was shot i just froze all i could think was what if something happened to salary son couldn't spare a thought for us well we're glad everyone's safe yeah but soma got the jump on us he's a bigger threat than we thought what do you mean by that well, you think he's working undercover for public security undercover it's a new development I'm sure it puts a damper on Genda-sensei and Hoshino-kun's big night out. Huh? Well, uh... I only showed up because Hoshino-kun talked me into it. You said you wanted to see what it was like in there, too! Did I really? Hmm. I don't recall that. Incredible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go change. No! To put it lightly, Looks like you guys are in for the cold shoulder for a while. I think she should stay dressed like that for the rest of the game. Interesting. If what you say is true, a public security agent is scooping up thugs into RK. Yeah, and his name's Kazuki Soma. We haven't confirmed it yet. But if he really is an undercover agent, then everything starts to make sense. Public security gets to use RK as their pawns, who feed them intel from the streets. All those scumbags are just working for public security without even knowing it. But that setup is exactly what let Soma and RK grow so successful in the first place. For example, I'm sure the guys who killed Akatsu are RK, but they were definitely decked out in real police gear. Soma's role in public security would make getting that gear easy. If that's true, we can't trust anyone in uniform now. Should we be concerned about the police downstairs? Don't worry. They're here thanks to Mafia. All things considered, can't the police do anything about Soma? Well, according to public security, there's no one by that name on record. So that's a dead end. They must have wiped him from their files already. Soma had to have been in the Tojo clan for ten years minimum. He and Akutsu were both in the Nikyo Consortium. Higashi knows more about that stuff than me, though. Okay, we'll ask him about it tomorrow then. Hmm, sounds good. I guess that's it for tonight. Let's head back to the agency and rest up. I'll reach out to Higashi. We can meet at Charles tomorrow. Hopefully to get some sort of lead on Soma. Are you sure you don't want to get back in your... Your outfit that you were just in? If Soma truly is working for public security, 
Finding him before he finds us isn't guaranteed. But if we'd captured Akutsu alive, then we could have... <sighs> it's frustrating. Sorry, sans glow up sure was something. But I think she looks great in her work outfits, too. This is the mm. best law office in the world. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel that way, Hoshino-kun. I think she looks a little bit frumpy in her office attire, but, you know, as long as she's comfortable, that's what matters. We've finally caught a glimpse of our real opponent. And public security is a mighty big one at that. Be careful out there. Cute nerd vibes. <laughs> Uh, Drew, is this a long or a short game? It just depends on how much side stuff you want to do. It can be quite short or it could be extremely long. Okay, so we're going back to the office. Get the couch. Let's do it. Wait, wait. There he is. Let's head to Charles. It's time to ask Higashi about Soma's Tojo clan days. I'm enjoying how much screen time Higashi is getting in this. He was one of my favorite characters in the first game. Alright, let's use our new skateboard. Let's let's use our new let's use our new skateboard. Dig in the green. Nice and smooth. Try not to run into anybody. Yagamishi, this is Tsukumo. We have a problem. The Yokohama Liumong were attacked this morning. What? Our bro? Attacked by who? Tesso Arcane. bro? They've been boosting their numbers in Ijinsho. They're probably hunting Kawana. Fortunately, he seems to have escaped them. But he's gone completely off the grid again. How bad was it for the Liumong? Several are wounded, according to Tesso-san. Did any of them see Soma during the attack? I haven't heard for certain. All I know is that it was total chaos. I see. Okay. What's the plan, Yagamishi? I'm gonna dig into Soma's past. I feel like there's something there. Could you keep trying, Kawana? Your wish is my command. See you. Oh no, not Tesso, bro! What's up, Doc? Uh, sorry, folks. My shift's starting. One of you take over. Oh, I'll do it, Kaito! Great. Don't forget to block. Got it? I won't. <laughs> oh, man. You're a rock star to these kids. <laughs> Crazy, right? 
You should see Higashi with them, though. Really? Higashi-san, Yagami-sensei is here for you. Lose that sensei shit, you idiot. No honorifics for assholes. Love you too, uh, Higashi. In that case, that Yagami asshole is here for you. <laughs> Much better. Talk about its emotion. <laughs> Right. Well, I do know a thing or two about Soma's Tojo clan days. He swore under the Nikyo Consortium, direct family. The Nikyo Consortium was a pretty big deal. Even if they did bite the dust with the main family. Right. Among them, Soma and Akutsu were both looking like officer candidates. Apparently, the Nikyo's role in the family was to handle off-the-record dirty work. No matter how much they raked in, the higher-ups took their cut and left the mess. Those two got hung out to dry, basically. Nevertheless, they sucked it up and hoped they'd be the ones on top someday. But, as you know, the Tojo clan got hit hard, disbanding before they ever even got their shot. They devoted years to the family, all to get nothing in return. I'd be willing to buy that for Akatsu. But if Kaito-san is right, Soma was working the Tojo clan from the inside for public security. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK, so he could gather up and monitor all the ex Yakuza at once. Okay, now that you mention it, RK has been dipping into the shady side of Kamurocho. They're strong-arming anyone who acts without their blessing first. You want to do shady shit? You need an RK permit these days. Yeah. That's why the Soma's an undercover agent theory makes sense to me. If we find a concrete link between him and public security, then we'll know for sure. Evidence of Soma being an undercover agent within the Yakuza. We'll have to dig into his past for that. Higashi, who might have known Soma back then? Someone with authority would know how he joined the Tojo clan. Well, let's see. Would the Nikio president work? President? Not patriarch? Same shit. His name's Irie. But whatever kind of boss he was then, now he's just another champion district drunk. I have some questions for him. Once I have the link between Soma and public security, it'll all fall into place. I don't know, man. You want to meet him, knock yourself out. He spends his days at a joint called Earth Angel. Oh, we know the gotcha. place. I'll come with you, talk. Please do. Just try not to get stabbed, okay? The last time I took you to a bar, you got stabbed. So don't do what don't be it? doing that, okay? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Higashi. Bye. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I better cut Kaito some slack. He is just recently out of the hospital. Are you knocking over pedestrians back there, Kaito? Please calm down. Can we give Kaito a knife proof vest? Vest? Yeah, but if we do, then they'll probably just shoot him instead. Ditching me? No, I'm not ditching you. Right here. Ooh, daikon radish. Nice. Here we are. The former head of the Nikyo's local haunt. He just gets plastered here all day? <laughs> Damn, the lucky son of a bitch. Sounds awful. President Irie. Uh-huh. Uh, my name is Kaito. I used to be in the Matsugane family. Matsugane? Ah, oh, one of his boys, huh? You knew my boss? He was your classic old school Yakuza. He had duty, had dignity, but he couldn't earn. <laughs> Yeah, maybe he was the lucky one, dying before he became whatever I am now. Well, this is Would a you mind chipper if we ask mood you a here. Few questions? This is my partner, Yagami. 
He's a civvy, but he was like family to the boss. It's a pleasure. So, what do you want to ask? Could you tell us about Kazuki Soma? You might know him as head of RK now. Huh. Soma, huh? Joined the family when he was just a little sprat. I hear he's quite the big shot now. I hope meeting with this guy pays off, but no matter who's talking, it's a detective's job to listen to everything they say. Let me buy you a drink. Mind if I join you here? Our lieutenant scouted out Soma back in the day. He'd heard some kid was flushing his money away in one of our casinos. Turned out the kid was sweet-talking ladies into handing him their money. Yeah. Sounds like a model Yakuza candidate. You mean Kamrocho's old underground casino? Yeah, that was one of ours. <laughs> yeah, the cops would keep shutting him down and we keep building more. What made you ask Soma to join the family? Was he the one who initially approached you? I think so. He was pretty attached to that lieutenant I mentioned before. Soma had no problem following orders, but he had a natural authority to him, too. Makes for a damn good Yakuza. Of course, a violent streak is the other half of the equation. Say, before he joined up, how much digging did you really do on Soma? What's that supposed to mean? You checked his background and everything, right? Well, I'm sure we did our homework. It's not like that was my responsibility. Irie-san, there's a chance Soma was working for public security the whole time. What did you say? Nani? So no one suspected him. Soma wormed his way into the family after all. Considering he may have been undercover from the start, does anything strike you as strange now? Maybe some suspicious behavior or contacts with people you didn't know. No, I have no idea. Thought never even crossed my mind. He took some really risky gigs. You didn't hear this from me, but he even took at least one hit job. A hit job? Some time back. You know, there was this punk who ratted us out to the cops. And the higher-ups ordered Soma to kidnap the guy and bury him in the mountains. He handled it so well, people were kind of creeped out. Like, it wasn't his first time. At least, I remember Akutsu telling me that. I heard he got killed last night. <laughs> Word travels fast. Who'd you hear it from? <laughs> oh, darkness runs deep in this city. Never assume you're the only ones in the know. Akutsu just realized last night that Soma is an undercover public security agent. That's why he was silenced. Sure, but what's it matter? At this point, I don't give a shit if Soma's undercover. The family's dead and gone now. What happened to everyone else after you shut down the consortium? Half of them went legit. Some of them went and joined the sixth chairman for his new deal. I guess the rest crawled back underground. The Greener family boys all got invited to RK. So it's none of your concern that your former family is being manipulated by public security? <laughs> Those guys don't even come to see me during bone season or New Year's. They're just spoiled brats now. An arrogant group of thugs. Family my ass. This guy is bitter. I'm sure this guy was a big shot in his heyday, but it sure is a shame to see what happens to Yakuza whose family fell apart. <sighs> All this talk's making my drink taste like shit. I guess the young ones nowadays are pretty wrapped up in themselves. To be fair, though, I don't know anybody who'd want to waste their time with a gloomy drunk. How about we grab a bite together when you sober up? Because if this is really the fate of the Tojo clan's patriarchs, no way those of us who work to make it big are going to live it down. <laughs> Sorry for that. 
In Kaito-san's old life, becoming a direct family was their biggest dream. When he looks at you, he sees what Matsugane-san might have been if things had been different. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Hey, you know the Misawa building on North Senryo Avenue? It's got a gambling den with a decent Chohan setup. Gambling den? A gambling den on North Senryo Avenue. Is he talking about Kosuke kun's tatami room? Yeah, I've actually been there before. What about it? It's run by this group originally from Rapongi. Now RK is saying they're owed a piece of the pie. RK really is putting the pressure on the Kamurocho underground, huh? Yeah, but the Rapongi crew won't pay up. So I hear RK is gonna come down hard on their place tonight. They wanna make an example out of them. Put some guys in the hospital. Maybe even the morgue. Wait, are you saying Soma might be there tonight? <laughs> Who knows? The ones running tonight's show are ex-Tojo. The top dogs of RK showing the newbies how it's done. Who'd you hear this from? <laughs> what did I say before? Don't assume you guys are the only ones who know everything. <laughs> I appreciate the lesson. Okay, well that seemed to be worth it.